Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to make a clap sound based on the 909 clap. Uh, I'll just give you a quick sound sample to begin. Okay, let's get started. Uh, as always, I'll create a new macro and rename it. And let's go inside and create a noise oscillator. And let's just give that an amplitude 1. And we're going to pass it through a bandpass filter, which I'm just going to make a simple bandpass filter right now. Um, rather than use the built-in bandpass filter, I just want one that'll give me a, a fuller control of the bandwidth, uh, which we'll use as a control. Let's make those knobs now. Uh, we'll have a pitch center knob and then a bandwidth knob. And then what we'll do is we'll pass uh, the sound first through a low pass filter and then through a high pass filter. Um, and the pitches of those respective filters will be determined by uh, the center knob plus and minus uh, the bandwidth knob. So I'll just get those set up now. And we're actually going to divide uh, the, the bandwidth knob by 2 here because we're going to be adding it and subtracting it from uh, the center knob. It's uh, still going to end up giving us a range of whatever the bandwidth knob is equal to. Okay, so let's add those together and feed it into the pitch of the low pass filter. And then uh, we'll add them together, uh, subtract them for the pitch of the high pass filter in just a second. Okay, so we're just creating a uh, flexible way to shape the noise sound here. Um, we're going to end up, once I'm done rearranging things, I'm going to end up sending the noise through a decay release envelope, um, which is, of course, going to be controlled by a MIDI gate. And... Uh, that's just going to kind of create the ambient reverby uh, sound associated with a, a hand clap. Um, and then um, that's going to make up one half of the circuit, basically. I'll just create that. Add the decay knob. And we're going to limit the time. We definitely do not need a 10 second long decay on the hand clap. A little excessive, so I'm just gonna limit the time to 50 there and multiply the envelope by the output of the high pass filter. All right, and if you want, you can uh, send that through a mixer and straight to the output and take a listen. It's pretty unexciting at this point in time. I'm just going to change a few parameters on the level knob here uh, so that we can boost the signal if we want to. Alright, and I'll connect it to the output real quick. 
And finally, let's rearrange the panel while we have a second. All right, we're halfway there. To create the next part of our clap sound, we're going to use a series of decay release envelopes and um, we're going to make it so that each new envelope kind of starts as the one before it is fading out. Uh, so we'll just kind of create a quick succession of uh, snap sounds that'll kind of create the initial hand smack of the clap sound. So we're going to make four envelopes and three delay lines. And uh, each delay line is going to get fed by the delay line above it. The first one will get fed by uh, the MIDI gate signal. So we'll have one envelope go off and then three others in rapid succession. I'll just make another gate here. And then I'm going to create a single knob uh, that is going to control the delay time of all three delay modules. And we're going to change the parameters on that because uh, right now it's set to have a maximum time of a thousand milliseconds, which is way larger than we need. I cut it down to something more like 50, which is excessive even still, but what the heck. Okay, and we're going to use the delay line. Um, the delay knob is actually going to control the decay time on these envelopes as well, um, so that each envelope is getting triggered kind of as the one before it is dying off. There will be a little bit of overlap since they, uh, the envelopes are decaying logarithmically, but now let's add all four of those up. And then we can multiply that signal um, by the output of the, the high pass filter that we made before. So let's duplicate this actually. And um, Add another input to the mixer here and make sure the level knob controls both of them and pretty much good to go now. Let's go back onto the panel and rearrange things and pretty much be done. Alright, thanks for watching you guys.